excited. Is there anyone left? Have a seat. Come here. Go ahead and softly put your hands on your knees. Shoulders towards up. Close your eyes. Let's take some deep breaths and get ready to go. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's continue those breaths. On the next exhale, go ahead and close your mouth, bringing those exhales out of the nose. Take this time to set an intention for your class today. Using this breath to just release any tension that you carried onto your mat with you today. Beginning the process of removing and releasing anything that no longer serves you and that you would like to leave on your mat today. Let's go ahead and do two more deep breaths here. Last one. From here, let's do some seated cat cows. Let's go ahead and inhale your chin up, arch that back. On the exhale, bring that chin to meet the chest and round your back. Inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, chin up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, chin to chest. Last one. Exhale. And then inhale those arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, hands up. And go ahead and exhale and bring your right palm to the ground and take your lean over. Gaze your left arm up, gaze up to the left arm and breathe. Lift up on an inhale. Cactus those arms. Inhale up. And bring that left hand down. Float the right arm up above and gaze up towards your right palm. Inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale those arms up. And place those palms right back on your hand. Let's go ahead and do another cat series and round of cat seated cat cow. So inhale that chin up, arch your back. Exhale, chin to chest. Round into that back. Inhale up. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale up. Exhale, chin to chest. 
Last one, inhale left. Exhale, chin to chest. Come to a seat. I'm gonna drop that right here to the right shoulder. And just roll that neck over to the left hand side. We're doing half front circles here. So just stay between the right and the left hand side, rolling the chin towards your chest. And a couple more times here. Center. I'm going to take a look to the left. Center. Gaze over to the right. Center. Inhale those arms up. And take your right arm back behind you. Left hand comes to the right knee. Easy twist here. Gazing over the right shoulder. Breathe. Slowly bring that right arm back. Right hand meets the right knee. Left hand meets the right knee. Left knee. Inhale those arms up. And take that left hand and plant it behind you, bringing that right hand over to the left knee. Gaze goes behind you over the left shoulder. Nice steady breaths here. Inhale those arms up. Cactus, exhale. Inhale those arms up. And bring your hands to meet the knees. Do a couple shoulder rolls backwards. Change directions here, bringing those shoulder rolls forward. And we're gonna meet in tabletop. From tabletop. Go ahead and extend your right arm out. Extend that left, those left toes out. Go ahead and lift the left leg. And on an exhale, bring your knee to touch your elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Palm and knee meet the mat. Go ahead and extend your left arm out. Extend that right foot out. Raise up that right foot. On your next exhale, bring that knee to meet the elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Go ahead and plant that left hand, plant that right knee, and cat cow. Drop the belly. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, chin to chest, round in that back. Pressing through your palms. 
Inhale, chin up. Exhale, chin to chest. Second breath, down. Inhale, chin up. And exhale. For these last couple of sets, feel free to work in any additional movement that your body may be needing right now. To work out any additional tension spots. So maybe you rotate around. Into your cat cow. Take a couple more breaths here on your own at your own pace to just work out any additional things that you may that your body is telling you to find. All right, now let's tuck those toes and we'll push back into downward dog. From downward dog, we're gonna push forward into plank. Lean back, downward dog. Push back into plank. Downward dog. Into plank. Our dog. Now let's meet here in downward dog and just pedal out those feet. Static downward dog here. Lean forward into high plank. Exhale, push back. Downward dog. Let's go two more here. Plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. And just walk out those feet. And from here, you're going to walk your feet up to meet your hands and hang forward. Grab doll, maybe grab opposite elbows. your palms to meet the mat. And let's go ahead and slowly raise one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, the arms up, mountain. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, those arms up. Forward fold to the center. Halfway left, bringing the palms of your hands to the front of your calves. Flatten out that back. And exhale, forward fold. From here, you're going to go ahead and step back into plank. Push it back into downward dog. Exhale, plank. Downward dog. Last one here. Half up. And then push back into downward dog. Let's go ahead and either walk or hop those feet on the end of an exhale to meet the back of your hands. Wrap opposite elbows, maybe sway back and forth. And 
want to plant those hands. Slowly rise one vertebrae at a time. Inhaling those arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale up. Forward fold through the center. Halfway lift, bringing the front of those palms to the front of the calves, flat back here. And standing forward, hold drawing those palms to meet the mat. We're going to flow through Sun Salutation A one more time. So let's step back here into plank, push back into downward dog. From downward dog. You want to walk or hop your feet. You can put back in your hands. If you want to drag them. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale up. Forward fold. Halfway lift, palms to the calves. Plant those hands, standing forward fold. And let's step back into, step that right foot back into a low lunge. From the lunge, you can feel free to keep your knee raised. If you would like, you can also bring, drop that right knee down to the neck. Let's just go for an easy twist here. Bringing that left arm up, gaze up. Okay, kind of meets the palm. Nice slow lunge here. And let's inhale both those arms up. Crescent lunge. From here, let's go ahead and swing that left arm back. And take your gaze over that left arm. Right arm comes to the front. Easy twist. Sweep that left arm forward, arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus those arms. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, plant those hands. Tuck those toes. Bring that left foot back to the right and push your back into downward dog. And now we're done. Let's go ahead and walk or hop those to meet the hands. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale up. Exhale through the center. Halfway lift, palms meet the hands. Plant those hands. And go ahead and take your left leg back for lunge. From here, you can stay here, or you can drop that left knee down. Keeping your left hand planted, let's go ahead and float that right arm up, taking your gaze up to it. Plant that right hand. Inhale those arms up for a crescent lunge. And take that right arm back. Gaze up. Right arm sweeps up to meet the left. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, cactus. 
Inhale up. And hands frame that foot in front. Tuck those toes. Bring that right foot back from the door. Push from lunge into downward dog. Nice cleansing breaths here. Last one, let's go ahead and walk your feet or hop to meet the back of your wrists. Inhale those arms up, slowly one right away at a time. Exhale, cactus. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, flow through the center. Halfway lift, flatten that back. Forward hold. Step our hop back into plank and chaturanga. Coming back up into cobra or upward facing dog. Tuck those toes, downward facing dog. Go ahead and drop those knees. Next. Bringing your left hand in palm center. Inhale that right arm up. On the exhale, you're going to come and thread the left, the right arm under the left, just not quite touching your right shoulder. Inhale back up. Right arm thread through, floating your shoulder over the mat. Inhale that arm up. Right arm floats through. And this time go ahead and plant your right ear on the mat. Your left hand can stay here. If you would like, you can slowly walk it up towards the top of your mat. Breathe into this here. If you would like, you can go ahead and float that left arm up. Take it for a bind, bringing the back of your left hand over to the right hip. Feel free to take any variation of this that you would like. If you took the bind, slowly inhale and bring that hand out. Walk that hand back. And using your left hand as a foundation, bring that right arm back out and up. Exhale, planting that right hand down. Inhale that left arm up. Thread the needle on the right, bringing your shoulder to just hover over the mat. Inhale that arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale that arm up. Exhale, thread that needle. This time, go ahead and bring that left ear to meet the mat. The back of your left palm is on the foot of the floor. And slowly walk your right hand up to the top of your mat. The free to stay here, take any additional modifications if you need. If you took the bound, the bind on the left hand side, then you can bring that right arm up. Take any bind on the left hand side, ready. The back of your right palm to your right hip. Inhale 
and on it down on it. Punching that right hand. And using that hand to inhale that left arm out. Left hand goes up towards the sky. Exhale, bring that palm down. Good. Spread those knees out towards the outside of your mat. And just take a seat here. We'll meet in child's pose. Walking those hands out in front of you. Forehead meets the mat. Walk those hands off the neck to the right hand side, bringing your left hand on top of the right hand, and just breathe. Walking those hands back towards the center. And inhale. Exhale. And then walking those hands off towards the left hand side of the mat, bringing that right palm right on top of the left palm. Walk those hands into the center. And push it up into tabletop. We're going to meet at the top of our mat on our knees. From here, you're going to place your hands, thumbs facing outward on the small of your back. And maybe you just stay here and breathe into it. If you would like, you can go ahead and start to gaze up and arch that back slowly, meeting yourself and your body where you're at. If it's open to you, go ahead and float that right arm back to meet the heel, left arm back to meet the heel, pressing the pelvic floor forward to a camel. It's a camel slowly, ease out, walking those hands back up. Let's go ahead and meet into tabletop. Knees wide, sit back in child's pose. Slowly push back up into tabletop. We're going to meet back on our knees for a second round of camel. Slowly take your gaze up. Palms are at the small of your back. Keeping your hips pressed forward. Make sure you're steady and keeping your breath. If it's open to you, go ahead and float those hands back.
slowly coming out of camel pose. From tabletop, just go ahead and go back into child's pose. Spreading those knees wide, taking a seat onto your heels. Walk those hands out in front of you and just breathe. From here, let's go ahead and push back up into tabletop. Knees are about a couple inches apart from each other, but close into the center. We're going to do puppy pose. So go ahead and walk your hands out in front of you, bringing your forehead to meet the mat. Slowly at the end of an exhale, begin to walk those hands back. We'll meet here at tabletop. Push back into downward dog. Forward into plank. Exhale, downward dog. Forward, push back into plank. Exhale, downward dog. Forward, push into plank. Exhale, downward dog. At the end of an exhale, go ahead and walk or hop your feet to meet your hands. Slowly inhale up, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus those arms. Inhale, mountain. Forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, plant those hands. Step back into plank. And you can go straight into downward dog or go ahead and chaturanga here. And to cobra. Tuck those toes, we'll be in downward dog. From downward dog, let's go ahead and walk those feet up, placing your feet just on the outsides of your mat. Wide feet just on the outsides of your mat. Go ahead and bring those hands to meet in palm center, malasana. Close your eyes. Just focus on the breath here. From Malasana, plant those hands. And let's push up into a forward fold. Exhale, let's bring it back into Malasana. <sighs> Plant those hands. Push back into a forward fold. Keeping those legs wide. Let's drop it back down. And center. Plant those hands. Pushing out and jump again into Malasana. 
what we're going to do now is we're going to plant that right hand down and extend that left arm up, taking that gaze up. Bring those palms to meet in the center. Inhale. Exhale. Left palm meets the mat. Right arm goes up. Take your gaze up towards your right palm. Meet in palm center. And feel free to hold here in Malasana or move into crow if that's in your practice. For crow, we're gonna plant our hands in front of us, a couple inches in front of us, palms nice and wide. You're just going to lean forward, creating a shelf with your arms. Knees work up the backs of your forearms. Gaze is forward on the floor in front of you. And maybe you float one foot up off the mat and float the other foot. If it's open to you, go ahead and float both feet off the mat. We'll all meet in Malasana. Take two deep breaths here, cleansing breaths. Let's go ahead and plant those hands. Push up. Heels all those hands and feet towards the center. Slowly rise, one vertebrae at a time. Tadasana, bringing the palms forward. Let's move into tree pose here. Bringing the right, the sole of your right foot to either your ankle, your calf, or inside your thigh. Palms meet in the center. Let's just focus on the breath here. If you would like to challenge yourself, maybe you close your eyes. Another alternative, you can raise both of your arms and just sway. We'll all meet here, palm center. And go ahead and release that right foot back down to the ground. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale those arms up. And palm center. Move into tree on the left hand side, bringing the sole of your foot to either the side of your ankle, the side of your calf, or the side of your inside of your thigh. Making sure that you're staying clear of any direct connection from the sole of your foot on that knee joint. Palm center. If you would like, feel free to close your eyes here or challenge your balance by taking those arms up and just swaying the branches of your tree. We'll all meet here, palm center.
And go ahead and release that left foot to the ground. From here, let's go ahead and inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping back into plank. Push back, sucking those toes, downward dog. Centering that left foot behind you, put an inhale that right leg up. Bend at the knee. Now let's do some hip rotations. Nice big circles inside. And then rotate those circles in the opposite direction. Inhale that leg up behind you. And go ahead and sweep that knee up to the back of your right. Making sure that left leg behind you is pretty straight, bringing your seat as close to the ground as possible. If you would like, you can also put a brick here underneath the right glute. Let's go ahead and inhale up into pigeon. And if you would like, maybe you slowly begin to walk your hands out in front of you, coming in to a full lane, lane pigeon. Spoken on, focusing on the breath here, guiding those breaths into any tight areas here that are in your hips, your thighs, releasing any tension. Making sure you let those shoulders drop. So they're not dangling from your ears. We'll slowly begin to inch back up. Planting those hands down, tucking those left toes. Inhale that right leg up. Three-legged dog. Inhale that left leg up. And plant that right foot. We'll meet here in downward dog. Centering that right foot. Inhaling that left leg up. Go ahead and bend at the left knee and just take some circles, make some circles here with that left leg. We'll take an opposite direction. Extend, inhale that left leg up and bring that left knee to meet the back of your left wrist. Extending that right leg straight out behind you. The top of your right foot is flat. Inhale up to seated pigeon. And maybe you begin to slowly walk those hands out in front of you. Giving a nice solid stretch here. Just breathe. Releasing those shoulders. In your ears.
Slowly begin to walk those hands back. Tucking those right toes. Inhale that left leg up. Three-legged dog bending at the knee. Inhale up. And go ahead and plant that front foot into him. Plant that, move that left foot into the center. Inhaling that right leg up. Sweep that right leg through and plant it in between your two hands. Dropping your left knee back. Let's go ahead and push forward into this low lunge here. And on an exhale, shifting your hips back. Nice quad stretch here, or hamstring stretch here. Back up, low lunge. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, shift back. Go ahead and just hold here. Inhale up into the lunge, tucking those left toes. Go ahead and squeeze that right leg back into a high plank. Push back into the dog. Left leg rises on the inhale. And plant that left foot in between your palms. Dropping that right knee. Push forward here into that low lunge. Exhale, bringing that, shifting that heel forward. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale and hold. Inhale back into the lunge, planting those hands, tuck those toes, and sweep that left leg back. High plank, push back into downward dog. From here, let's go ahead and drop our knees to meet the mat. And we'll meet on our backs. Go ahead and take your right ankle, foot flexed, cross it over the left thigh. Maybe you stay here. If you would like more, go ahead and reach between the legs, bringing that left knee, tugging that left knee towards you. Nice hamstring stretch here on the right hand side. Bring that left foot to meet the mat. Let your right foot meet the mat. 
left ankle crosses over the right thigh, left foot is flexed, and let's reach for that just below that right knee, tugging that right knee. Go ahead and bring that right foot to meet the mat. Release your left foot. Feet are wide on the mat. Knees are touching. And just go ahead and rotate and sway those knees side to side here. When you're on the right hand side, letting both of your knees drop to the right, bring your right ankle and just set it on top of that left knee. Releasing your right ankle, rotate those knees back up towards the top, rotate the knees towards your left, and bring your left ankle and place it subtly over your right knee. Releasing that right, that left uh, ankle. Rotate those knees up towards the sky. <laughs> and just do a couple more rotations side to side here with both knees. All right, go ahead and hug those knees in. Maybe you reach for opposite elbows and just rock sway side to side here. Nice, giving some love to your low back. All right, static and center. Slowly release the top, the soles of your feet to the ceiling. And then reach and get and grab for the outsides of your feet. And we'll just spend some time here in Happy Baby. Maybe you stay static. Maybe you sway side to side. If you would like a little bit more, feel free to extend your right leg. And now that that. Extend to the right leg, extend the left leg. And out of that. Go ahead and hug both of the knees in. Reaching for opposite elbows. Extend those legs out and wide on the mat. 
bringing the back of your palms to your sides and just breathe here. Savasana. Letting those shoulders fall from your ears. Releasing your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Come back to your intention that you set for yourself at the beginning of your class during the Savasana practice. And focus on just breathing and releasing anything that no longer serves you and anything that you don't want to take into the rest of your day. Slowly begin to wiggle your feet, wiggle your toes. So make some rotations with your wrists and your ankles. Bring your feet to meet in the middle, in the center. Standing those arms out in front of you, on the stretch. Rotate over into fetal pose on your favorite side. Using your palm to help you up, keeping your eyes closed. We'll meet here in a seat. Bringing your hands to palm, palms to meet in the center. Empty out all of that air. Let's take five deep cleansing breaths together. Inhale on three. One.
last breath here. Your palms to your third eye. Give yourself a nice little massage here with the backs of your thumbs and your, and your third eye. Namaste.